Joseph and his true dream. Jacob, one of the great prophets of God, was living in the city of Canaan. He had twelve sons, among whom two were named Joseph and Benjamin. These two sons were so dear for Jacob that they had aroused the jealousy of their brothers. The bond of affection between the father and one of the sons got even stronger when Joseph told his dream for his father. On that day, Joseph, laughing happily, came to his father and said, Dear father, last night I had a very nice dream which has made me so happy, but for which I know no interpretation. In my dream I saw the sun, the moon, and eleven stars that were all bowing before me. Hearing about his son's dreams, Jacob was extremely happy and said, My child, this dream is a true one, which predicts a prosperous future for you, just as I did. But don't you ever tell anything about your dream to your brothers, since they may get jealous of you and think of a trick or conspiracy. From that day on, Jacob never left Joseph alone and started to take special care of him, for he was well aware that Joseph will be among the pious subjects of God. When Joseph was seventeen, his mother passed away. The loss of mother was a good reason for Jacob to show more affection towards his beloved son. The great care with which he treated Joseph caused his brothers to plan a conspiracy to separate Joseph from their father and consequently attract all their father's attention to themselves. One day the brothers came to their father and said, Dear father, so far you have not allowed us to take Joseph out for a walk in the desert. Let us take him out tomorrow and we promise to take good care of him just as you do. Jacob, who immediately became aware of his son's dangerous plan, and on the other hand did not want to let them find out that he had realized their devilish plan, refused to accept their demands by making excuses. But the brother said, Don't you consider us trustworthy in taking care of Joseph, though we always wish all the best for him? Jacob said, My dear sons, you know that being apart from Joseph really makes me sad and depressed, and I am also worried lest you would forget his presence, and he'll be a prey for wolves. Then the brothers replied, We've got the courage and boldness to accept the responsibility in case anything happens to him, and we'll certainly be in a loss too. Now be sure such a thing will never happen. One day morning, the brothers, accompanied by Joseph, went out of the city of Canaan. While they were taking a walk, the signs of anger and vengeance appeared on their faces. After so long, now it was the time to take their revenge on Joseph. So when they got to Canaan's well, they took off Joseph's clothes and threw him into the well, while he had nothing on. Even the helpless cries and begging of Joseph could not settle the blazing fire of his brother's rage and jealousy. After the dusk, the brothers came home with crying eyes and with Joseph's shirt having some blood stains on it. They showed it to their father and said, Dear father, what you once predicted came true, and while we were busy playing, we neglected Joseph and the wolf attacked, killed Joseph, and took him away. We could only take his bloody shirt. Jacob, being well aware of his son's devilish conspiracy, know that God had predestined an inevitable fate for Joseph, from which there was no way out. So he replied, The blazing fire of jealousy and your vicious passion made you do an evil deed. The only thing I can do now is to be patient and seek the help of God. 
In the loss of Joseph, Jacob, being left alone in a world of grief and sadness, cried and cried until he finally went blind.